Virgos! Welcome to the weekly love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from September 30th to October 11th. I hope you guys are doing good. For my newbies, I always go over my meditative session first, which is energy that I pick up in and around you. So it's energy you could be experiencing directly or connected to someone in your environment or someone that you are energetically attached to, and it is energy, so it can be reversed, okay? Then we're going to go ahead and do the pre-shuffle on screen, and then we're going to go ahead and do the reading. Virgos, I wasn't getting too much, but I definitely have this energy of like a lot of focus on you, a lot of eyes on you. It's like kind of like bell of the ball kind of energy, which was kind of fun. Uh, some of you are like being peri peri <laughs> cherry picked, excuse me, you're parried, <laughs> you're parried, uh, cherry picked for something, or you just feel like you got a lot of eyes on you, a lot of expectation. Some of you are feeling the, the pressure of that. And you don't really like it. Um, well, actually, yeah. Virgos, I don't think any of y'all are liking it. To be honest with you, it's like, for some, it's a good thing where, you know, you're getting a lot of recognition at work and that's great, but you don't like to have all those eyes on you. You don't need all that attention, right? Some of you, you just feel like you're standing out like a sore thumb and there's a lot of expectation on you to kind of live up to some kind of standard or expectation, right? That others have on you, not anything that you have on yourself. It's about the expectation that others have on you. You're really worried about living up to that for some reason. You're really worried about that in the back of your head. Uh, I did see a bear which is kind of fun. Uh, I actually got power with that. I got power with that. Virgos, you're having to dig deep in your reserves here for your energy to do whatever it is you have to do. Whatever, for whatever reason, you have a lot of eyes or expectation on you, whatever you've been cherry picked for or chosen for. There's a sense of really having to dig deep to deliver, okay? You're really harnessing that power of the bear, that that resiliency of bear okay so yeah it's very interesting virgos i did just hear taurus interesting could we know the taurus you can have taurus in your chart um actually you might be harnessing a lot of taurian energy because that's very taurian that kind of power that kind of resiliency to kind of push through it's funny because i picked up on virgo in the taurus reading too now that i think about it i did i picked up on virgo in the taurus reading too um so yeah anyway that could be just for some of you but virgo you're in the spotlight in some kind of way, whether it's in your family, the workplace, or just out in public, what have you. You could be a celebrity. I don't know. I don't know your business. <laughs> a lot of people watch me. I don't know. I don't know your business. Um, but you're having trouble living up to that standard, but you're trying. You're trying. You're trying to. You're trying to live up to other people's expectations because you know whatever, whatever you've been chosen for is in your benefit. It's for your success. It's for your success. So you're running with it. You're running with it. So let's go ahead and get these cards calibrated, Virgos. <clears throat> Pleasing forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. September 30th to October 11th, please. Keep in mind, it's just a time frame. Time is not linear. Whenever you're guided to watch readings, when you're guided to watch it. Oh, they're showing me clouds. Hmm. They're showing me clouds. So you guys could just be watching clouds and enjoying that. You know, nothing wrong with that. Clouds are cool. Clouds are actually really fascinating. I won't get into it. Retain, you know, pull back the nerd a little bit. Um, clouds are really cool, actually. But some of you guys could just be doing that. A lot of you guys could also be fantasizing. It's almost like you're living up to these expectations. You have a lot of eyes on you. You're feeling the pressure. Some of you guys are, are daydreaming a little bit about other things you want for yourself. Oh, some of you, some of you, it is a form of escape because you, you're, you're having trouble coping in whatever situation you're, you're dealing with. Some of you, this could be a social anxiety issue and you're just kind of going off in your head. Like I'm somewhere else right now. <laughs> like I am not here because I can't deal with this situation. Okay. Some of you are definitely doing that. Yeah. It's a very fantastical, like daydreamy Aquarian seven of cups kind of energy. It's for some of you. Please bring forth messages of truth, money, and love for those who need it. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Oh, I, some of you are doing this during a conversation. Some of you are definitely doing this during a conversation. A conversation you don't want to be a part of. A conversation you do not want to have. And you're just like, I'm not here right now. <laughs> I am not here. I am not a part of this. I don't want to deal with this. Careful, Virgo. Sometimes we have to have, be in these situations to deal with it or to learn something from it. Okay? So just know that. Just know that. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, September 30th to October 11th. Oh, Virgo. For some of you, oh, wow, okay. Virgos, for some of you, this is actually really sweet. Um, 
And again, it could be vice versa. I'm actually picking up that you feel chosen by someone. That's for some of you. You feel chosen by someone and it's like, you don't, oh, you don't know if you can deliver. Oh, Virgo. <laughs> you don't know if you can make them happy or live up to like a sense of expectation. But Virgo, if they chose you, they just expect you to be you, okay? If they chose you, they just expect you to be you. That's really cute, I like that. That's really cute, I'm sorry, that's so cute. Uh, continuing in the pre-shuffle. Ooh, Knight of Swords. Gemini energy could also be air or fire, your uh, cousin over there. Uh, more like a sister sign, more like a sister sign, because it's mercurial. A lot of conversation coming in. Conversation coming in here. Yeah, for some of you, this is like, ooh, hold on. What did I say about that Seven of Cups? Seven of Cups in reverse, Scorpionic energy. This is someone bringing in the reality of the situation. Like I said, for some of you, there's a conversation you do not want to be a part of. <laughs> there's a conversation you do not want to have, where it's like, la, 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 I'm not here. I'm not here right now. I don't need to hear this shit. It's like shattering your fantasy. This is interesting. This is someone shattering your fantasy, trying to be almost too realistic. What is this? Too rigid, thank you, spirit. Too rigid. Whoever whoever this is, Virgo, they're being too rigid about something, really taking the joy out of a situation. So Virgo, you already have a lot on your plate. You're already dealing with a lot of shit. And then you have this person. This is also why some of you are having anxiety. You're dealing with someone who's really giving you a hard time. Who's really giving you a hard time here and you don't like it. You don't like that. Others where you're like, you're being cherry picked or chosen by someone romantically. And you don't know if you can live up to it. They're trying to reassure you that you're enough. But for some reason, you're not liking the conversation. It might be their approach, because Knight of Swords, that's like, ee, it's a little aggressive. That's a little aggressive. Whoever this is, they're delivering truth. They're delivering realis realistic um, points of view. Realistic points, valid points. But they're being kind of cold about it. I gotta be honest, they're being kind of cold about it. And Virgo, that's very off-putting to you. Whoever this is, whoever this is. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. September 30th to October, to, oh, I did just hear October 3rd. Interesting, that's probably gonna be a big date for some of you. Oh, oh, October 3rd, that's when Pluto goes direct. That's interesting. I feel like something else is happening on October 3rd. Pluto goes direct. I think Mercury? Does Mercury enter Scorpio on October 3rd? There's another shift happening on October 3rd. October 3rd might be big for you guys. And we do have and you guys are ruled by Mercury, um, if they're, if Mercury is shifting. But then we have your sister sign here too. Yeah, I feel Mercury for some reason. E, Page of Swords in reverse. This is someone you could have a child with, but not necessarily. Ooh, Virgo, I don't like this. No wonder you're feeling stressed out. No wonder you're feeling pressure. You already feel like you have a lot to live up to for whatever reason or another. Some of you, like I said, are being cherry picked for something and you're dealing with that. All the while you have someone kind of in your ear, in your ear here like really sucking the joy out of any situation that you're finding yourself in. You're already stressed out holding on to any joy you can and this person's shattering it. This person's shattering it, okay? Then we have the Page of Swords in a verse. Oh, Virgos, I feel like someone's watching you like a hawk. I don't like that. Mm. Mm. I don't like that. I really don't like that. For some, this person's jealous of your success. Yeah, for some, this person's jealous of your success. For those where you're actually getting chosen by someone romantically, and you are enough, by the way, if you are getting chosen romantically, you are enough, there is another person watching and they're pissed off about it. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, September 30th to October 11th. Yeah, they keep giving me October 3rd. I feel like it's Mercury. I could be mistaken, but I feel like Mercury shifts into Scorpio. Oh, Jesus. Look at all these swords, Virgo. Four swords in reverse Libra energy. Someone needs to take a time out. Some, someone is watching you too closely and they need a rest. They need a time out. They need to go sit in a corner. If it's your child, they need to go sit in a corner. Okay, Virgo? Not trying to tell you how to parent, but someone needs a time out. Someone definitely needs a time out. You got enough to deal with. You got enough to deal with. Any messages for Virgo? Virgo, they're showing me the bear again. You have to be really strong against this energy, okay? Because there is someone making shit way harder than it has to be for you. And you have to be the bear. You gotta be the bear. You gotta dig deep here. 
and put this person on timeout. Ooh, very nice. The world, fixed energy, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, Jules, Capricorn. Whole new cycle starting here, a whole new chapter starting. Virgo, you're coming to something amazing. Like I said, some of you have been cherry picked and you're trying to live up to those expectations. You're trying to deal with the stress of the situation. All the while, someone's trying to shatter your fantasy. For some of you are getting berated by this person. You're getting way too heavily watched by this person. And the longer they watch you, the more irritated they get as well. For some of you, this is the same person. Others, it's two different people. But you're coming to something beautiful here, Virgo. And it is stressing you out. So you don't need this shit. You don't need this shit. Let's see what else comes out here. All right. Yeah, that's it, Virgo. Um, on the bottom, we do have Queen of Cups here. Cancerian energy. You can also be Pisces or Scorpio. I feel like this is more your energy. Trying to focus on the stuff at hand. Trying to put your energy where, where it needs to be. It doesn't need to be with this person yelling in your ear, shattering your fantasy, sucking the joy, joy away from you, or the person watching you like a hawk who really needs to be put on a timeout. You're focusing on you. You're focusing on the things that are important to you, and you're trying to maintain that. You're trying to maintain that. You don't need to deal with this bullshit. You don't need to deal with this bullshit. All right, Virgo, let's go ahead and get into your reading here. <clears throat> For those who are new to my channel and new to tarot, please know these are very general readings. Not all messages will apply to everybody. As you hear me set the intention, messages come forward for those who need to hear them. Sometimes that's you. Sometimes it's not you. And if it ain't you, that's okay. There's plenty of other readers on YouTube that you can check out. And if this week isn't your week, that's fine. No reason to throw hate or shade, okay? Um, also, we are working with energy, so just know that messages can't be reversed or vice versa. Don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. And whenever you're guided to watch a reading is when you're guided to watch it, regardless of the time frame, okay? Okay. Any messages for my Virgos? Any messages for my Virgos regarding love? September 30th to October 11th. Any messages for my Virgos regarding love? Hi, come here. September 30th to October 11th. Any messages for my Virgos regarding love? September 30th to October 11th. All right, that feels good. Hmm. Any messages for my Virgos regarding love? September 30th to October 11th. That damn page of swords again. Ooh, yeah. Virgos, I don't like it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I don't like it. <laughs> I do not like this. King of Pentacles in reverse. Taurian energy could also be earth or air with the page of swords. This is someone who's watching you. Watching you and they're controlling and they're brooding and they're seething. I can feel it. They're seething. They don't like what they're seeing, Virgo. They don't like what you're doing. You're coming into it. Like I said, you're coming to an amazing time for yourself. An amazing time for yourself. And this person is watching you like a freaking hawk. Sorry. Channeling that bear energy a little bit. Um, <clears throat> they want control over you. I'm sorry. They do. They don't like it. They feel like they're losing control of the situation. This is a very insecure person, by the way. <clears throat> Excuse me. You mercurial signs. Ew. King of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. Hold on. Why is this energy here? Oh. Picking up on a couple things, Virgo. This person might not be just controlling. They might also be emotionally manipulative. That's for some of you. Others, they're watching you deal with a different energy. Not my life. It's not my business. I'm not going to tell you what to do. But that's definitely the case for some of you. You're dealing with another energy here. But... It's like this energy knows that you're dealing with this energy. They can feel this person. This person, like I said, is watching you like a freaking hawk. I really don't like that. I really don't like that. That's like very upsetting to me. It's just intrusive. It's rude. It's just rude. You don't do that shit to people, right? So Virgo's, like I said, some of you are dealing with another person here, but they're holding back from you emotionally because they know you're being watched and because they know that you have a very controlling energy around you. Some of you, this person is also emotionally manipulative. Pick whatever situation is yours, okay? <clears throat> <clears throat> Virgo. Any other messages for Virgo regarding love? September 30th to October 11th. Any other? Ooh, Virgo, Seven of Pentacles, Taurian energy, patience. Patience. I feel like this is your energy, trying to figure out how to deal with your situation. Because like I said, your plate's kind of full. 
I feel like you got all those pentacles looking at, like the pentacles you're looking at, the six of pentacles, your plate is full. You got six of them you're dealing with. Whatever those six things are, family, children, people, career, clients, projects, whatever it is, you're trying to deal with that. And then you've got this ace of pentacle right underneath you, which is like that spotlight energy that I was getting from you, where you're being cherry picked for something or you're chosen for something. And you know you have to rise to the, rise to the occasion and occasion, excuse me, and that's stressing you out. Whether whatever it is, whether you're being chosen by a romantic interest that can't give a lot of themselves to you because you're dealing with this manipulative hawk-like energy, um, or it's just an opportunity in business or career, or again the spotlight energy for some of you it is a pub, for some of you it's a public thing. I don't know what that is about. You'll know if that's for you. But you have an Ace of Pentacles you're dealing with. You're looking at your plate, and you're like, how can I deal? Can I do this? Can I really do this? Can I really pull this off? Virgo, this feels very familiar. It was very familiar from the last reading I did for you. That energy of like, can I actually have it all? You can have it all, Virgo. Some of you are still dealing with this energy. And some of you, having it all means being with a new person romantically or in business, but they're not giving you the full enchilada because you're still dealing with this. Sorry. But this is someone who's watching you, trying to control you and trying to control the situation. And I don't like it. All right, I just don't. I don't like that shit. For some, they could be controlling you over money. You got a lot of pentacles here. Any other messages for Virgos regarding love? September 30th to October 11th. Any other messages for Virgos regarding love? September 30th to October 11th. You're trying to exercise patience with yourself too. Sorry, they're bringing me back here. Some of you, some of you guys are trying to exercise patience with yourself and this person. For those where you're dealing with a new person or new energy, they're also trying to exercise patience in the situation because they know what you're dealing with. They know what you're dealing with. And for you, you're trying to be patient with yourself because it's like, I need to not be stressed out. If I, need, if I can handle this, if I am going to handle this, I can't stress myself out. Any other messages for Virgo? Oh, that's it. Overall energy, ooh, judgment in reverse. Fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. Nothing's come to pass yet. That's a, a, Why is that coming in so strong? It hasn't come to pass yet. It hasn't come to pass yet. Pass yet. What? Slow down. Sorry, they're yelling that at me. Why are you yelling that at me? Hold on. Virgo, your destiny is knocking. With whatever this opportunity is, whatever this pentacle is, for some, whoever this new person is and whatever they're offering, it's your destiny. It's knocking. And it... Sorry, they're being very, like firm with me and delivering this message to you which means that I think your guides have been very firm with you in this for those who talk to their guides it's your destiny it's knocking this person's holding you back this could be one job to another because like I said we got a lot of pentacles here but Jesus I can't believe I didn't see this by the way underneath judgment in reverse star in reverse these two cards are about karma and destiny and then look we've got the eight of cups Piscean energy, moving forward, leaving shit behind, leaving this person behind. And then look, temperance, Sag energy. So balance, also divine uh, intervention for me. This is my fix it angel. And then look, the 10 of pentacles. The 10 of pentacles, Virgo energy. Your destiny is knocking, Virgo. Your destiny is knocking. It's right there underneath you. It's right there underneath you. I know you're trying to be patient with yourself. You're also trying to deal with this energy. Well, for some of you dealing with a new energy. All, oh my God, I can feel the pressure on you, Virgo. And I, do, I don't like it. It's making me uncomfortable. You feel so much pressure in this situation. You know exactly where, to, where it is you're supposed to go. Your Ten of Pentacles. Your destiny. It, I'm like, they just keep telling, they just keep saying that to me. It hasn't come to pass because you haven't made the move yet. You haven't snatched it. You haven't risen to the occasion yet. Sorry if this is sound like I'm berating you. I'm not trying to berate you. They're just giving it to me very firmly and it's coming out this way. Um, Virgo, it's it's clear. It's clear. You already know. You just gotta you just gotta rise to the occasion here. You gotta rise to the occasion. You gotta dig deep and channel that bear energy, that animal totem. For some, also the bear can be a hermit energy, which is Virgo, right? But what do bears do? They hibernate. They hibernate and then, you know, coming out of that, they feast. They feast and they go for it. It's time to feast, Virgo. <laughs> it's time to feast, okay? Let's look at this manipulative energy that is watching you like a freaking hawk. I really don't like their energy. 
I don't. And I can tell they're seething. I can, I can feel it. There's a lot of anger and frustration behind this person. Let's look at the Page of Swords and see exactly what it is they have to say for themselves. Huh. Their energy is really, it's, it's actually making me upset. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't mean to get upset at you guys. It's making me upset. Um, we'll do Gilded for this one. Talking about the Page of Swords. Talking about the Page of Swords for Virgo. Regarding love. September 30th to October 11th. Like I said, guys, some of you, this could just be like a really awful boss who can't get off your back and you're getting a new business opportunity or a new job offer somewhere else, but they're not fully investing in you because they know you still work for the other person. It could definitely be that. Um, and for others, this is jumping from one relationship to another. Could definitely be that as well. Whatever it is, Virgo, it's your destiny. It's knocking. You gotta, sh you gotta shake this manipulative person. You gotta shake them. And you gotta rise to the occasion here. Talking about the Page of Swords. Talking about the Page of Swords. Talking about the Page of Swords for Virgo. Regarding love, September 30th to October 11th. You're being divinely guided to do this, Virgo. You are. I know you are. I, Virgo. <laughs> you know you are. Virgo, you know you are. Talking about the Page of Swords. Talking about the Page of Swords. Talking about this person who's watching Virgo. Talking about the Page of Swords. Ooh. Knight of Cups in reverse. Piscean energy could also be water or fire with the full in reverse. Aries energy could also be Aquarius because there's a Uranus card here. I don't like the way they're looking at you. With this Knight of Cups energy, they look at you like someone who's withholding from them. And they feel like you're making a mistake. And it, yeah, and like Virgo, you're pulling away from them because they're very controlling. And because they're brutish. And because they're seething. You're, that's why you're pulling away from them. They're manipulative. You don't really, you, you don't really want to deal with this person anymore. I can feel it. And you've really retracted your energy, even though you can't fully get away from them. And they feel like you're making a big mistake in doing so. And it's actually making them angry. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Talking about the Page of Swords for Virgo regarding love, September 30th to October 11th. Wow. Oh. Two of Wands in a verse, Aries energy, and the Three of Wands in a verse, more Aries energy. Three of Wands in a verse is not making moves. Things that aren't happening as expected. Two of Wands in a verse is like, is indecision. Getting indecision with that. Yeah, Virgo, this is you taking your pause. Of can I do this? Can I rise to the occasion? Can I handle all of this? You can. You can. The longer you wait on this, the more angry this manipulative energy is going to get. Okay? Just saying. <laughs> Knight of Swords. Gemini energy could also be air or fire. There's the communication coming in. I feel like there's also them berating you. I feel like there's also this person berating you. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Ooh. Page of Cups. There definitely could be children involved in this. We got two pages here, but doesn't have to be, not necessarily. Oh my goodness, Virgo. Queen of Cups in reverse. Can't Serene energy could also be Pisces or Scorpio. That's definitely your energy here. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Capricorn energy. Don't worry, I'm gonna go over all these energies with you. I can feel a lot of stuff coming out, so I just want to get all this out. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Tell me about the Page of Swords for Virgo. Regarding love. Okay. Yeah, overall energy, we have the two of swords, moon and Libra energy, and now we've got another page, the page of pentacles here. This person is trying really hard to hold on to you, Virgo. They even might be making offers to you or trying to give you things. If this is work-related, they might be trying to bribe you with promotions or like raises or things like that or bonuses here and there, but it's just putting you more at a stalemate energy. They feel very blocked from you, Virgo, and they don't really know what to do about it. So they're trying different ways to gain control over you energetically and physically. A lot of pentacles, so it is also very physical control as well. But there's a stalemate here, and you are really blocking yourself from this person. And then on the bottom, we have this energy. The Knight of Swords, Page of Cups, Queen of Cups in reverse, and then the Four of Pentacles in reverse. What's interesting to me is that 
this other person that a lot of you have, this newer energy, the King of Cups, you're a true pair to this person. The Queen of Cups in reverse, you're not giving your energy to this manipulator. You're not. They're, they're talking to you in a very aggressive way, very direct way, and they're trying to sugar, like, they're trying to like do it under the guise of love with the Page of Cups here. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm not yelling at you, I just love you. <laughs> okay? Is that what a loving person does? <laughs> right? They're trying to they're trying to disguise it as something else. But with this energy, you've already been releasing yourself from them and releasing them. You don't want anything to do with this person. You don't want to give to this person. And if anything, I do feel like they're hurting you, like emotionally. It's they're stressing you the fuck out. They're stressing you out. You've got enough to do as it is. You've got enough to deal with. So and also, like I said, for some of you, you're not dealing with a new energy. For some of you, you're just dealing with someone here who like, you know, who's just giving you a job opportunity or you're trying to expand your own career. Again, this energy of like having spotlight energy on you and, and the rising to the occasion. Some of you, this is the same person as being emotionally manipulative, right? And yeah, you are you are a true pair to this person for those where it's just you're dealing with this one energy, this one manipulative energy that you're trying to get away from and invest in yourself somewhere else. Others of you, it's a whole new person that's like a true pair to you, okay? So let's look at the Seven of Pentacles and see what you're going to do about this, Virgo. Mm. Yeah, we'll use this one. Actually, I need a little bit of water. Hold on. Hold on, Virgos. Mm. Okay. All right. Let's look at the Seven of Pentacles. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles for Virgo regarding love. September 30th to October 11th. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles for Virgo regarding love. September 30th to October 11th. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles for Virgo regarding love. September 30th to October 11th. Mm. Can I have the Seven of Pentacles for Virgo regarding love? September 30th to October 11th. Can I have the Seven of Pentacles for Virgo? Three of Swords, Libra energy. Yeah, you, you hate the situation. <laughs> You are not liking the situation. It's really bothering you. It's really bothering you. It's making you very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. Because you're being watched like a hawk and you know it. You're not giving your energy to this person and they're hating you for it. But at the same time, you don't really know what to do with this energy. You don't know how to get rid of this energy. And you're at such a stalemate with them, even though they keep trying to give you offers or trying to gain more and more control over you. And you're just not having it. And it's creating a very combative situation. And for those of you where you have a new person that you're dealing with, it is creating that kind of third party energy, right? And this other person isn't giving all of them to you because they know you're dealing with a manipulative energy. Keep in mind for those in that scenario where you got like you're have this manipulative person you're trying to get rid of and you're dealing with a newer person. Um, you could be any one of these people. OK. Tell me about the seven of pentacles. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles for Virgo regarding love. Ooh. Five of Cups, Scorpionic energy. Virgo, this whole situation is bumming you out. Three, three of Swords with the Five of Cups. It's also bumming this new person out, those who have that new person. It's like, you know exactly where your destiny lies. You, you already know. You're being divinely led, you're being divinely guided, and it's like you just can't seem to shake this manipulative person. And it's really, really bumming you out, and you feel like you're kind of losing out for some reason, but you're not. You're not, Virgo. You have a lot on your plate, and you can handle it. You can handle it. Some of you, if you're married to this person, you do care about them. You do care, and that's also what's making you kind of sad, is like knowing you have to kind of detach yourself from them. Tell me more about the Seven of Pentacles. Oh, Virgo, the star in reverse Aquarian energy. Virgo, I can feel I can feel it. You gotta harness this bear energy. 
you got to dig deep to be able to get through this because you can you can you can totally get through this you can get through this you can go and seize your destiny destiny's knocking already you just got to have a little bit more faith in yourself that you can make it through this okay it's putting a lot of stress on you tell me about the seven of pentacles Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles for Virgo regarding love, September 30th to October 11th. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles for Virgo. Let's see. Ah, and there's the Hermit. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy, and then the Hermit, more Virgo energy. This is you hibernating, my bears. Hibernating. While you're in the Seven of Pentacles energy, you're hibernating for the winter. It's time to come out of hibernation. <laughs> hibernation. Hibernation. Why is it hard for me to say right now? Hibernation. Once you come out of hibernation, you're going to be hungry and you're going to have to feast. And by feasting, I mean going for your destiny. Going towards your Ten of Pentacles with this new person or whatever opportunity is coming your way where you're being cherry-picked. Because it's right there. It's right there. It's right there. You got to come out hungry. And what I mean by that is too, is like, when you're hungry for something, it's like you're relentless. That's and just like bears, right? When they come into hibernation, they are relentless for food because they're hungry. They haven't eaten in months, <laughs> right? Virgos, you've been craving this for months, okay? Hibernate as long as you need to, but don't stay too long. Overall energy, we do have that Eight of Cups. That Eight of Cups, Piscean energy. You walking towards your destiny and being divinely guided to do so as well. Wow, and look at this, look at this, look at this. Wow, the Knight of Swords with the Ace of Cups, the Page of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the Ace of Wands, oh my God, and the Page of Wands, Virgo, Virgo. For those, where, like, even if you don't have a new person, this King of Cups, just look at this. Ace of Cups with the Ace of Wands, passion and love for where you're going. Knight of Swords, not being afraid to say so and heading there fast. Page of Cups, the Page of Wands, and the Nine of Cups, being very just gung-ho about it because it's your happy place. And you're inspired to go there. You're motivated to go there. You're hungry to go there. When you come out of this hibernation mode, when you come out of this hermit mode, you're going to go for it because it's where you're supposed to be. It's where you're supposed to be. It's where you're supposed to be, okay? Let's look at the hermit in a little bit more detail. Let me use a Lenormand deck on this one. Oh, shit. Where'd it go? Uh, oh, there it is. It grew legs and ran away. And they'll get some advice for you, okay? Hungry to go there, Virgo. Hungry. All right. Tell me about this hermit mode, this hibernation mode for Virgo. See if we get any more information here. Tell me about this hermit mode, this hibernation mode for Virgos. Up oh, the moon. Eight of cups got the eight of cups a couple times here virgo it's time to go to your happy place and leave this manipulator behind whoever this is in your life it's time to leave them behind okay the moon in the in the lenormand deck is actually about work it is it's about work but it is also about the traditional moon meanings of intuition and emotion and doing what's best for you right being true to yourself seeing through illusions but it is also an energy of actual work and occupation so like i said for lottie this is work related tell me more about the hermit Tell me more about the hermit <laughs> and the star with the six of cups okay happy place destiny 16 breaking down to a seven here that's heading on your path and heading in the right direction some of you like i said this is public work or like work in the public eye with the moon and the star very indicative of that in the little norman deck but either way this is what going to where it is you're supposed to be your destiny and happy to be there as well Let's see what else we get Tell me more about the Hermit for Virgo. Tell me more about the Hermit for Virgo. Oh, that's it. On the bottom, what do we have? <laughs> more card, more destiny cards. We have the bridge with the six of wands with 36 breaking down to a nine completions, closing the cycle out once and for all and heading to where it is you're supposed to be from that rocky place. Oh, hold on. From that rocky place to that lush place, victoriously. The bridge is also about fate. It is. It just is. It is also about fate and destiny. It's time to go there, Virgo. It's time to go there and be hungry when you do it. Okay? Let's go ahead and pull some advice. 
Any advice for my Virgos? Any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Come on. Where are we at? Oh, we're good. We're really good on time. Any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? 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 Oh, very nice. Giraffe spirit. See the big picture. 29 breaking down to 11. This is seeing everything for what it is in the situation you're in and understanding how to handle it. Also, it's a very intuitive uh, card as well, using your intuition as well in this. But Virgos, like I said, you already know. You already know where you're supposed to do. You already know where you're supposed to go. It's just a matter of seeing the way out, right? Seeing how to get rid of this manipulator. Any other advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Some of you, this is an amazing opportunity in love in a new relationship. Others, like I said, it's business. I feel for most of you, it's business. Any other advice for my Virgos? Oh, Virgo. Canary spirit, sing your own song with 12, breaking down to a three, communication. Skunk spirit, know your worth, 54, breaking down to a nine. This is you speaking your truth and knowing what, what you deserve, knowing where your destiny lies, because you do see the entire picture here, okay? Um, and really owning that and being hungry for it, okay? Can't emphasize that enough for some reason, being hungry for it. Any other advice for my Virgos? Ooh, very nice. Eagle spirit. Spirit has your back. 23 breaking down to a five. And we already knew that, right? We already knew that. We knew you were being divinely guided here or divinely led to your destiny. To your destiny. It's knocking. It's right here for the taking. Spirit's trying to nudge you there. They're also protecting you, Virgo. I really want to emphasize that. They're really trying to protect you as well. Um, I don't know why some of you need to hear that. Some of you need to hear that. Spirit is trying to protect you in this. Maybe some of you guys don't feel safe. Oh, Virgos. If any of you are dealing with a domestic abuse situation... Please get the assistance you need in that, even if you have to like go stay with a friend or a family member or whatever you have to do. Um, you know, make sure you got the like, police records and everything like that. Um, I don't know, I feel like some of you are dealing with that. If you're dealing with that, please take proper precautions to dealing with it. Don't stay in a situation like that. Any other advice for Virgos? Regarding the spread, any other advice for Virgos? regarding this spread even if like it's just as basic as like texting people everything you're doing i'm leaving my home i'm going here i'm here i'm going here next i'm here even if you got to do that like whatever you got to do virgos overall energy oh i like it dear spirit bring a gentle touch 18 breaking down to a nine here doesn't this just scream virgo <laughs> like virgo energy sweet and gentle and pure and genuine. I find Virgos are very genuine. I haven't met too many Virgos that haven't been. Um, but I love this energy. Virgos, you deserve your destiny. You deserve it. There's also this energy of being cleansed. I don't know what this is about. What is this energy of being cleansed here? Oh, purging yourself with this manipulator. This person's energy, this man manipulative energy, I think is kind of tainting your energy or your energy field. I don't know why I feel that way, but I do. I'm feeling that. I'm picking up on that. And there's something about purging this person from your life and from your energy. Not just from your life in a physical way, but also from your energy in a metaphysical way, in a spiritual way. That's really going to help you here and just make you feel a hell of a lot better as well. Hmm. But Spirit is protecting you. Spirit is protecting you and they're pushing you in the right direction to where you're supposed to go. And it's time to really get hungry <laughs> get hungry enough to speak your truth and know your worth and know what you deserve and know that you can handle this and know that you were chosen for this for a reason some of you were just chosen by pure destiny by your blueprint being chosen for whatever this opportunity is in business or in love and it's time to just see the full grant the full picture of what you're dealing with and so that you can see the exit from this manipulator and see how you can cleanse your energy and your your life of this manipulator and go to where it is you're guided to go. 
Okay, Virgo? All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to go on Patreon, check that out, along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Virgos. Namaste.